Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, long time no talk. Long story short, I got very, very, very busy with uni final exams, which I did want to do well in, so I kind of like went MIA off YouTube for a while. And then when I wanted to actually go onto YouTube and actually like interact with you guys, I got locked out of my account. So that was always like great. Um, but anyway, moral of the story, I got my account back now. So yippee, I am back and I am back to stay. But yeah, let's get on to this video. Um, today I have my June favorites. June was very, very, very jam packed for me. I, it was probably the most stressful month so far of this year. Um, just basically uni stress and final stressing, like, ugh. But anyway, let's get on to the favorites. Starting with primer, I've really, really been enjoying the Anoxa Skin Perfection Pore Vanishing Cream. This claims to help minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. Um, this tube is the full size. This isn't like a sample size or anything like that. Like This is the full size. You only get 10 mil, which is probably the only flaw to this product. It's for the amount of product that you get, it's quite expensive, but it is really, really nice. It offers a tint and it really does smooth out the texture on your skin. It doesn't completely blank out your face like you've put a blurring filter on your face. I don't think any product does that, but it does reduce the appearance of my pores. And I do put it here just to reduce my laugh lines a little bit. And oh, my hair got stuck. <laughs> yeah, I think it does a good job. It is from the drugstore, so it is quite affordable. The only bad thing is it does only have 10 mils in the bottle. So Anoxa, please, please, please bring out a bigger bottle, like 20 or 30 mils, because I feel like I'm always gonna be running out of this stuff like so often, but it is such a nice product. And then on the opposite end of the price spectrum, I have a foundation, which when I first used it, I must admit, I hated it. I was messaging Fran, because Fran was the one that recommended this foundation to me. I was like, Fran, I hate it so much. It's so shit. I don't like it at all. Blah, 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 blah. I hate it so much. And I put off using it for a good few weeks after that. But I decided to bring it out again in June, and I am obsessed. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It is quite pricey, so I wouldn't recommend it if you just... If you can't afford it, don't buy it, even though it is a very, very good foundation. It's not worth breaking the bank over, but if you want to splurge, it is a nice foundation to do. To do? What? No, to buy. I do have it on my face today, and it is really, really beautiful. I don't want to get into it too much, just because I think I'll do a full in-depth review on this foundation itself. Otherwise, we'll be here for about 15 minutes talking about this one foundation. <laughs> I feel like I'm going through the order in which I apply them on my face, so I'm just going to keep rolling with that. Um, the next product is the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. I have mine in the shade Medium. It looks like this. There's six concealer colors in the palette. I like this palette because it is so ridiculously versatile. I can use it to highlight my face. I can use it to conceal my face. I could even use this as a foundation if I really, really needed to. I can use it as a bronzer, as a contour. Like seriously, this palette, it like, this palette is so good. It is relatively expensive, but if you love like base products, I would recommend something like this. It doesn't need to be this exact one, but just the fact that you have your highlighting colors, you've got some um, more bronzing and contouring colors or darker concealer colors. You can use it as a concealer, but that's not really what I use them for. And just like normal face products. Like I do use this one if I want to conceal at all on my face. I think that's NC35. No, NC30. That's NC, that's NC30. And then that one is NW25. Um, I do like using this one the most for physically concealing and that's the only concealing shade that I use in this. Every other color I use to either contour or highlight or just something else on my face. I love it so much. It's definitely worth the splurge if you're looking for a concealer palette. I think it's really, really worth the money. Moving on to eyebrows, this brow product I've owned for quite a while. I'm, I'm not even going to lie, I've owned it for a very, very long time and I haven't reached for it purely for the fact that the lid color put me off it. Is that really, really stupid? Probably. But anyway, this is what the product looks like. It's called the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. 
The good thing about this is it actually comes with a brush. Again, I don't want to get too in depth with it, but this product is really, really, really nice. I have mine in the shade medium brown and it's what I have in my eyebrows today. I really, really like it. And if you're looking for a brow product, maybe give this one a try. Continuing on with the brow theme, I wanted to mention a constant makeup staple for me. This is the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Stud. It is a very, very thin eyebrow pencil. Like that is the tip of it up there, if you can even see it. It is a very, very fine pencil and it just does an amazing, amazing job of just filling in the areas where you don't... Okay, if you have sparse eyebrows, this is good because it's like, for example, I use the Tarte Brow Mousse or the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I'll put them through my brows, but I feel like the product doesn't really stay where I don't have hair. Cause like I have relatively sparse eyebrows, like in the center part, there's not really much hair or here either. It's really, really strange, but whatever. I feel like this is the only thing that really grips on and actually holds without needing to have hair there. That sounds really, really weird. <laughs> But yeah, like it's just such an amazing product and I feel like if I didn't have this in my collection, my brows would look really, really strange. I can't go maybe two days without using this product. It is so, so good. I have mine in the shade Stud. Obviously, get the one that matches your hair color, but this one is just so perfect. The only downside is it doesn't twist back down if you've twisted it up, but I don't care. The product is so amazing. This product is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder. It's just a transparent powder. There's a little cute little puff, but that is the, ooh. and that is the inside of the product there. It's just a translucent powder. This powder, I've been obsessed with using it to set underneath my eyes. It's just been so, so good. It's kept my concealer in place all day. And I even sometimes brush it around here um, where I have larger pores and it does soften it, which is really, really weird but really, really good at the same time. I really, really enjoy this. This is new to my collection, but I'm so, so happy with this. I want to talk about a blush. I rarely talk about blushes, but when I do, I really, really like them. This one is the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in the shade Lavish Mauve. This isn't a cream blush. There's no puff to it. It's just a powdered blush that is marbleized. It is really, really pretty. I don't think that you can see the beautiful marbling in the product, but it is just a nice, pretty, whatever color this is, I don't know how to describe it. I do have it very, very lightly on my cheeks today, but I think the lights are washing it out. Um, but it is just a really, really nice, not too pigmented, but just really, really beautiful on the skin blush. Um, I don't think I'll pay full price for these, but if they are on sale, I'll definitely pick up another one because there's another shade that I really want as well. For bronzer, this has been my obsession. This is the Estee Lauder Glam Bronze Bronzer. I have mine in the shade 01 Light. It looks like that on the inside. And seriously, this is just the most beautiful, beautiful bronzer ever. I have it kind of in this section of my cheeks today, and it is so beautiful and so natural. Sorry, my camera cut out, but yeah, the color's amazing, it lasts beautifully. I want to get a few other shades because this powder is so amazing. It just, it does wonders for the skin. I don't know if it's the powder texture or if it's the actual color. Either way, I love it and I'm obsessed. A mascara combo that I've been doing quite a lot recently is I've been using the Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volume Volumizing Mascara. That is a really, really long name looks like this. I will show you a close-up of the wand. Let me quickly zoom in. Sorry about that, guys. So I can't zoom in. Apparently not. Um, my camera just doesn't want to focus on the wand. But basically, it's just bigger up here, bigger up the end, and then shorter down the bottom. And I feel like it's really, really effective on the eyelashes. It just makes my eyelashes have a lot of volume. No, not volume. Length. It gives my eyelashes a lot of length. And then I like to use the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara for volume. I love just putting these two together with each other because I feel like they do wonders. They're like boyfriend and girlfriend. So I caved in and I did get the Becca Ombre Nudes palette. This palette has been out for quite some time now, but I haven't until now been able to justify the cost, but I was like YOLO and I bought it. It's basically just five neutral matte shades 
beautiful, beautiful palette. I've only really used this shade and these two shades here, but I love this palette. It is so good. Like the quality of the eyeshadows are amazing and I've just been reaching for those three shadows on a daily basis, but I'm sure that after I actually have some time to sit down and play with my makeup, I will be putting this whole palette to use. And then to add a little bit of shimmer to my eyelids the days that I want a little bit of shimmer or if I'm going out or anything like that. And this is actually the shadow that I used on my birthday. Um, this is the ColourPop Single Eyeshadow in the shade Lala. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. It is the most beautiful shade from ColourPop that I own. It is so, so pretty. I would pay $40 for this. It is so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, if you're not familiar with ColourPop, they're not really a cream, but they're not really a powder. They're like a moussey, cream to powder kind of concoction thing. It's really, really hard to explain. This is only five American dollars. You need to check them out. If you're getting ColourPop or you're ordering from ColourPop and you love rose gold, you need this in your life. It is so, so beautiful. So I thought that I would share a few non-makeup related things with you guys. Um, they're more on the beauty side of things. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a moisturizer that I love. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. I currently am using the green one. I've also used the um, yellow one in the past as well. That's really, really nice. Basically, this is just a spray moisturizer. And it's really, really lightweight as well. Um, I like using this more after I've fake tanned. I don't like using it before I've fake tanned or anything like that. But it's just a really, really nice moisturizer. It's not super intense. This moisturizer is definitely a more light moisturizer on the skin. If you have very, very dehydrated skin, this isn't going to work for you at all. Um, like for the days that my skin's feeling really, really dry, I can't use this at all. But if your skin's just normal and you just need a moisturizer, this is a really, really good one. It's lightweight, it sinks into the skin. I like using this one um, also midway through the day if I feel like my skin's really, really dry, but I don't like the feeling of a thick, heavy moisturizer being on my skin. Um, I like using this one because it absorbs super, super fast and then you can't even realize that it's there. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the Mayan Tan Onyx Foam Self Tanner. This self tanner I don't like by itself. And you might be like, Laura, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you recommending this to me if you don't like it by itself? I'll tell you why. <laughs> this fake tan is an ash-based tan. I, this is the only ash-based tan that I've had experience with, but I'm sure it would be the same kind of thing with other ones as well. I like this one because it's kind of like my lifesaver with fake tan. So say for example, I put on a fake tan that is new or maybe it's just a little bit too old and it turns orange when I've washed off the developing layer, I will put this onyx shade over the top and I'll let it develop and then I'll wash it off and stuff like that. And it won't be so orange. It kind of neutralizes the orange and makes it a bit more of a brown shade, um, which I would prefer over being orange. I know it's happened before, like. I think the first time it happened, I posted it on Instagram. Um, yeah, I would say if you are new to fake tan or you've got a few bottles of orangey fake tans, give this a try, like in conjunction with it. Even maybe try doing one pump of the crappy fake tan and one pump of this just to kind of equalize the color because it's really, really good for that. I just don't think it gives me enough darkness. It makes my skin look really, really sick if I use it by itself. That's on my skin tone, um, but if I use it to kind of equalize a skin tone that's really, really awkward underneath, it does an amazing job. And I will do a fake tanning routine. I will, I will, I will, I will, I promise. I'm just not too sure how I'm gonna film it because I really don't wanna get down into a bikini because I, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so maybe I'll just talk you through it, I don't know. Okay, so the next favorite that I have is a perfume favorite. I don't think I've ever shared a perfume favorite on my YouTube channel before, but this one I really, really love. It reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of being four years old, sitting in my cousin's room while she would get ready to go out, like partying or going out with friends and stuff, and she would spray something similar to this, but it wasn't this, but it smelled the exact same. And like, seriously, every time I smell this, it brings me back to like, being four years old, watching my cousins get ready, going, oh my God, I can't wait till that's me. <laughs> and now it is me, so win. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Juicy Couture Couture Lala perfume. 
Oh wow, that's like a little trend. La la, la la, whatever. Um, but yeah, this perfume, I'm not really good at describing scents, but I really, really like it. If you're near a counter or a store that sells Gu Gucci, <laughs> Juicy Couture, then smell this. It's really fresh and spicy, I think. I have no idea what either of those are supposed to smell like, but I really like it. Okay guys, so that's all my favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon.